Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. I wanna ask you guys, have you been to Los Angeles before? You've seen a lot of my videos where I cover a lot of like Los Angeles food and scenery, right? And I think maybe some of you guys are even thinking of moving to LA someday, but you don't know whether it's a good decision or not. Well, I lived in LA pretty much all my life, so if there's anybody on the internet who can tell you the pros and the cons of living in Los Angeles, it is Rockstar Eater. So I hope I can be able to help you out with this question today if you're thinking about moving to Los Angeles. I'm gonna give you the five pros and also the five cons of living in LA so that you can make a wise decision on whether to come here or not. Because a lot of people move into LA every year, but then at the same time, quite a number move out of LA also, so you're probably wondering why. And that's what I'm gonna help you with in this episode today. So if you guys have not subscribed to this channel yet, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I release food videos and everything Los Angeles related on this channel. So of course, this is the channel you got to follow. So hit that subscribe button and you'll be all set to get these episodes. So why don't we begin by talking about the pros of living in Los Angeles. One of the great things you'll notice about living in LA is the weather. It is so nice for so much of the year. For the most part, it is great. Of course, there are some times in which you'll find some extremes like extremely hot in the summer and very chilly during the winter. But other than that, there's so many other times during the year which you'll find 65 to 75 degree weather. Doesn't that sound so great? So if you're a weather type of person, then this is the place you gotta be at. In fact, you're gonna find this great weather in so many other parts of California as well. Even if you have not seen my channel before, I'm pretty sure you've seen it in so many other channels and publications. LA has some really great food. This is one of the absolute best things about living in Los Angeles is the food options. You have foods of all kind. You got American food, you got Asian food, you got South American food, you got Middle Eastern food, you name it, we got it. And it's all so good. You got your like posh restaurants and then you also have your street food here. It is such an exciting place to be at for food. So if you guys are into food, then this is the city that you have to live in because you're gonna be eating well so, so many days of your life living in LA. So don't miss it if you're a foodie. Not too many places in the US have beaches and California is known for their beaches. One of the great things about living in LA is that you're only driving distance from some really great beaches. Santa Monica, Malibu Beach, Venice Beach, Manhattan Beach, isn't that so great? If you're a beach type of person, then LA is the place you gotta live in. Yes, LA is very urban, but at the same time, you're gonna get a lot of scenery in it as well with the beaches and the weather there, of course, is lovely. So beach fans, this is the place you gotta be. Recreational options are endless here in Los Angeles. It is impossible to get bored in the city. They got everything here. You got your theme parks, you got your malls, you got your movie theaters, you got your chess clubs, you got everything here. You name it, we got it. So everywhere you go, you'll find a little bit of something for everybody in this city. Everybody's gonna have fun here. They're gonna have activities that they can do and you know all this great stuff to be involved in. So that's one of the great things of living in LA is all the different recreational entertainment options that you can find here in the city. So if you're one of those people who are not content with a very simple life out in the nature, then of course consider moving to Los Angeles. If you're pursuing a career in the entertainment industry, then of course Los Angeles is a place you have to move to. Movies, commercials, music, theater, this is the place you have to be in in the US. That's not a guarantee that you're going to make it in the movie industry and unfortunately a lot of people come with dashed hopes and they end up moving back to where they came from. But if you have a good game plan and you do make it out here in the entertainment industry then all the more reason to come to Los Angeles. So if you want to pursue a career in entertainment, don't be moving to like Montana or Idaho or anything like that. Come to California, specifically Los Angeles. 
And now I'm going to tell you the five big cons of why you should not move to LA. So here we go with number one. You've heard the horror stories, lanes congested, taking 60 minutes to go 10 miles on the freeway. Unfortunately, it is all true. That is one of the worst things about living in LA is the traffic. Bumper to bumper, pretty much every day of the week. It is so crazy. So if you guys are not into traffic and you can't stand the thought of being in your car and moving about 10 to 20 miles an hour at the bad rush hour time, then stay away from LA. There are other cities in the US in which there's no traffic at all. You can drive and you can just go forth and have a good time. But LA, you're gonna find traffic pretty much everywhere you go. So if you're not into traffic, you gotta stay away from LA. I'm not gonna lie to you, LA is a very expensive place to live. It is not the most expensive place, but it is in the top list of expensive places to live. Expensive apartments, expensive houses, expensive food at restaurants, expensive gas, even the high taxes you have to pay for living in California. To some people, it is not worth it. You're not gonna survive out here if you live working a minimum wage job. So if you don't have a good game plan and you don't know what you're doing, then stay away from Los Angeles because it is very hard to survive here unless you're making a lot, a lot of money. Some of you guys have seen the pictures and the videos of Skid Row. That is our homeless population here in LA. But unfortunately, they're not just in Skid Row. They are even in affluent neighborhoods in Los Angeles as well. I've seen the homeless population grow worse and worse over the years that I've been living in LA. So if you're not into the homeless population, then of course you have to stay away from Los Angeles. The homeless people are not going to hurt you. Maybe the worst they can do is ask you if you can spare a quarter, but if you don't like the thought of that and you don't like the thought of all these different tents and trash littering like freeways and neighborhoods and all that stuff, then stay away from LA because the homeless population in LA is pretty bad. This con is more for the family man who wants to relocate his family from another part of the US into LA. Let me tell you, Los Angeles is not the most family friendly place to raise a family. You're going to see a lot of, not just like the whole gang activities going on here and you know, bad neighborhoods and things like that, but even sending him off to a public school you're gonna notice that there's a lot of bullying going on in schools. There's a lot of peer pressure into like drugs and alcohol and sex and gang activity, not to mention the leftist agenda being pushed by the faculty. So if that is not what you're into, then stay away from LA. Let me tell you, there are better places in the US to raise a family with some solid values. So if you're out here in the Los Angeles area and you wanna raise a family out here, maybe consider being very selective about the schools that you send your kids to, or maybe even doing homeschooling because it is pretty crazy in a lot of these schools in LA. There are other places that you can go to if you wanna get some really good quality friends, you know, date easier, marry easier. It's very hard to do all of that here in LA. A lot of people here in LA, even though of course there are some who are nice and who are kind of friendly, but there are also a lot of people who are very selfish and they're very focused on their career and other things they got going on in their life that they just don't have time for socialization and dating and marriage and things like that. So if you're more of a social type of person, you wanna date and you wanna get married successfully, then I would say there's probably other cities in the US in which you can do that easier because you're gonna notice a lot of people here in LA are just not into that kind of stuff. So those are the top five pros and the top five cons of living in Los Angeles. So choose wisely if you decide you want to move to this city. Anyways, I hope that helps you with your um, quest to figuring out whether you should move to LA or not. Now you know all the pros and all the cons of living in the city coming from yours truly, LA native Steve Cha. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. And if you like what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. Also comment on the section below if there's any other observations that I have not made in this video about it, your experience in living in LA, I would love to hear about it. And also, like I said, please subscribe to this channel because I release food videos 
in Los Angeles weekly that you don't wanna miss out on. So hit that subscribe button and you'll be getting these videos every single week. Well, I hope you have a rocking day today and I'll see you guys in the next video.